Hey, hello everybody. Uh, this is Barbara Black, a forum wrangler. Uh, I'm the person on the quilt show that watches the forum and looks for um, your questions and every the posts and all of that. So I spend a lot of time on the forum. When we got the new website in March, uh, we had some changes to the forum, changes to the overall website, and some of the things we're still learning. Some of the things are uh, getting corrected and changed all the time. Uh, there were some changes this morning that impact the forum that I'm going to tell you about. Uh, so the I don't know all the answers, and I just know... What I've managed to learn and in talking back and forth between um, my producer, John, who's in California watching for me on the other end to make sure we're doing okay, and Justin, who's handling a lot of the, the website issues too. So we're back and forth, and uh, we thought this would be a good time uh, while Alex is away, and Ricky's doing Monday and Friday this week and Monday and Friday next week with her his great, cool kaleidoscope free class. Um, so I'm here to, we thought, let's fill in today and do some forum questions. So I'm going to walk you through quite a bit of the things that I've uh, learned and thought about that might be helpful to you to know about the forum. And at the very end today, I'll go on and see if you have some questions that I'm able to answer. Um, I hope there won't be any zingers that I'm not able to answer, but we'll see. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen so you can see what I see. Get in here. Okay, so this is the main page of the quiltshow.com, and we've got this little pop-up slider thing that comes out and um, it, with what's next, and I just click it and close it right away. But if you want to see what's going on, it shows you a lot of things that are right there. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, okay, and it says I'm not logged in. So let me log in and log in this way. I was logged in a few minutes ago, but you know, you never know. Um, so let me get there. Okay, good. So I'm logged in now and it says, welcome, Barbara. So I know that, um, Barbara is logged in. And one of the changes that happened yesterday is the section where the uh, forum is used to be called connect. And now it's called forum because that's what's in there. And when you come to this page and you're looking for the forum, you would expect to see the word forum. So, um, we've got that now it says forum. So on this first homepage, I just want to mention one other thing. If you're not signed up for the newsletters, uh, I recommend that you do that. They come out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday by email. I find all kind of interesting things that are going on in the quilt world that I might not know about otherwise. There's links to the shop when there's sales that go on. And if you go in there... Uh, you also find out about the special, there's a membership special deal that's going on right now through next week with Ricky's class. And you've got a huge discount if you want to either renew your membership or sign up as a star member. And all of that kind of information comes out through the, the newsletter. All right, so let's click on the forum. Okay, I come to the forum. Now, this is great. The first thing I see is that I'm really logged in. If you don't see welcome and your name here and your avatar, whatever you've chosen to be, you're not logged into the forum. And so you'll want to get logged into the forum. It used to be that sometimes this said welcome, Barbara, but this didn't. And I would log out and log back in. That hasn't happened here recently, so I think perhaps that's been fixed. Okay. Now this, Barbara, it, with this picture, this little um, avatar that I was able to create, I think I created it in Facebook oh, a, um, sometime last year. This is, uh, my name for this account is Barbara Forum Test. This, I am a star member, so with this account, not an admin, so all I see as a star member is all the things you would see. This prevents me from showing you something that I can do as an admin that you can't do, and that would be frustrating. So um, when you see this little person right here, this is me, but um, not in my admin capacity, and I won't use this very often, uh, just when we're doing these tests so that I can answer questions for you. I am here on the main page of the forum. Classrooms and lives are listed at the top. Block of the month is next. Quilting related questions. Help me learn to quilt. Questions, tips, tutorials. Um, sewing machine subforums. Scrap bag. Let me just mention about these subforums. A lot of these are quite old. They've been on our website uh, and we've been up and had a website for 17 years. And so when the new website was developed, it was decided not to eliminate those. If they had not been brought over, all of this would be gone. 
Um, so that's why they're there. But you may find if you click on these that several of these, the posts that are on there are years old. And I'll show you how you can see that quite easily. Then there's the Quilt Show website with forum questions, troubleshooting, etc., and um, welcome mat suggestion box. So those are the various categories that we have already established. Just looking at block of the month, for example, there are 1,378 topics and over 25,000 replies. So um, that can show you how busy things are. The I want to go first into classrooms and lives. So let's just look at Ricky Tim's classroom. This is brand new this week. He started his class on Monday. It remains up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to mention is what they lovingly call breadcrumbs. I just think that's a really cool little title for this section. This at the top tells you where you where are you? You are here. You're in the forum. You're under classrooms and lives, and you're in Ricky Tim's classroom. When we come to this page. It shows you the topics. There's and there aren't too many. There's only one page here. There's cool kaleidoscope. Show your progress here. Cool kaleidoscope. Ask questions here watch show 403 and get excited, and then my fabric pull. So those are the four that have been established already. When something's new, I can tell it's new because the title is bold. The cool kaleidoscope, show your progress here is bold. This one is not bold. And there's this little blue down arrow, which says go to first new post. So if I click on this and I go to the first new post, and it's down there at the bottom. It's actually today. Today's the 28th of July. Um, uh, this is Dottie posted this up and Dottie's got a cute little picture. Uh, I'm going to talk about profile pictures here in a minute. So um, that she's got a cute little, looks like a kitty cat or something like that. So she, <laughs> she has her strata twins made and she's got them made that she's working on the cool kaleidoscope. So she posted that this morning. The... When uh, this was a post from yesterday from Monique, uh, Monique has a great little signature. I know now that she's Canadian. She's in Ontario, Canada, and she has this picture. She wrote, here are my stratas. Not sure if they're wide enough, but I'm ready to add strips if needed. I like my fabric pull. Please note the full photo is not showing question mark. So, and she's right. When notice here that on this side for this strata there, you only see the first piece of fabric, but when I click on her photo in the gallery, it pops up full size. So now I can see her entire strata there. Okay. Well, the, uh, the IT folks are working on this. Uh, they're working on getting the pictures the way we want them. So that's just, oh, I clicked a little too hard. So that's just, uh, don't worry about it if your picture, I have some where the pictures are sideways, but when I click on them in the gallery, they're not. So let's go back to show your progress here. I had a heavy hand with my clicker. All right, um, my posts on this one are set that they come in as posts. The first post that was made, post number one, to establish this category, this topic, it's a topic, is um, gray, and you can see who started it. This picture of me is under my administrator hat. Um, this is my photo, my avatar for that picture, and it says Barbara B. Administrator, and then my signature has my name, where I'm from, my blog. This is not a clickable post, but you could um, copy and paste it into your browser if you were looking for my blog. And then my personal motto, which is I am a part of all that I have met. It was said by Alfred Lord Tennyson, and it was my high school motto, and I actually took that to heart. So um, that's still something I go by today. So anyway, that just shows the first post there. And then post number two, Helen W. And I just love Helen W. She's always willing to jump in there. She gives all kind of good advice. She actually will play around with a question you might have and, and show you what kind of things she's come up with. So um, she's got a couple pictures in there. And then I did my strata from yesterday where I got them made, got those started and just posted those up. You can post a maximum of five pictures. I know that's true because yesterday I tried to post six and the sixth one said, nah, can't post more than five. So five it is. And this one, and then Monique, remember she's Canadian. We saw her picture a minute ago. She commented on my picture and her comment says this one also is very colorful. And so you can see when I've got my post, where here's my post, and we'll talk about quotes and comments. So there's a comment, and it stays when you're in the um, category looking at the pictures, you'll see the comments. And this is Stitch Diva, and she's got hers posted up there. And let's see what hers look like in the gallery. 
All right, and you can click on all those five photos and you could click on them individually if you wanted to, so you could see them. All right, close out of the gallery. So those show hers. Okay, I'm gonna show you Monique's and then this newest one. And so that shows where you are there. So let's go back to classrooms and lives and you can either do your back button and go back, 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 or I just wanna go back to the, the main forum again. So let's go back to the main forum. I just click on the word form, it takes me there. All right, on the far left are a section called latest forum posts, and then below that, trending forum posts. And latest forum posts would have where the, the newest pick, um, posts had been made. So maybe you saw something a day or two ago and you want to easily find it again. When you're on this main screen of the forum, this can be a place for you to look and see. Maybe you don't remember exactly what it was called, but once you see this, you'll um, you may be reminded, oh yeah, that's what it was. It was how to use the forum. Um, so that's the latest forum post at the top and then trending forum posts. Some of them are similar because latest ones tend to get a lot of activity. Um, I did a few weeks ago post the design area for both the skyscrapers and little houses in the city. And that's, you can find them right there. So that's just a way that you might be able to use that section to help you find what you're looking for. Okay. All righty. Let's go now to, we'll go into Color My World, Block on the Month 2021, Color My World. I'm in here frequently, quite a few times a day, looking to answer questions and things like that. Um, so here's all the topics. The, I'm going, all right, let's, let's talk about the topics for a minute. And let's talk about you deciding you're, let's say that you're making the block of the month and you want to post about that. If you want to show us the tall buildings that you've been making on, use the topic that's already established for this. Tall buildings show your progress here. And if you were to do a new topic and call it My Tall Buildings, you see here we have 21 pages right now for Block of the Month Color My World of 2021. If every one of the people who posted their pictures in tall buildings show your progress here, and there are 103 responses on that category, if each one of those people created a new topic, we would have many more than 21 pages. And in order to see the individual tall buildings, you would have to open each one of those topics independently to see them. So when we go here, tall buildings, show your progress here. And it takes right from the beginning. I started this on May 31st. Tall buildings, show your progress here. Please use this topic to show off your tall buildings as you get them made. So for four months, we're working on tall buildings. So this has been in place since uh, just before the 1st of June when the tall buildings first went up, tall buildings number one. Probably this Saturday, July 31st, tall buildings number three are going to go up. And this one topic here is the place to put all your tall buildings. So I'll just scroll down a little and you can start to see some. The And then some have comments on them. Uh, Helen has done a quote. So the difference between comments, when somebody puts a comment, it will stay with the post that they commented on. And you can see it. But if there's someone asks a question, a lot of one of the best ways to answer that question is to do a quote. And I'll demonstrate that again in a minute. But the difference with a comment, it doesn't repeat what the original poster asked. It just puts the comment in that section. The quote will quote what the person said. So this Beth Bell Lavoie had asked, uh, says, thank you for posting the June blocks a day early for those of us in the U.S. I really enjoy shopping my stash now to make three more sets. And then Helen quoted that when she answered, Beth, your tall houses look great. I'm even more impressed by your little Jacqueline Zhejiang picture by your name. And she asked questions about that. Did you make your quilt? And, and I just love her designs. And then Beth commented back to answer that question. So the when we slide on down, there's the, those are great. This is Carol B, and she is having a great time working on her Color My World. She's doing it out of wool. Uh, she's a fairly new quilter, as I recall, and she is just doing all kind of great stuff there. So this is just a fun way that you can see the, the see there's some more of Carol's wool 
quilts. And she's personalizing it to make the houses look like real houses that she and her family have lived in. I think that is just so, so cool. Um, so, and again, the breadcrumbs tell us where we are. Forum, Block 2021, Color My World, Tall Building, Show Your Progress Here. If I go back again to that section, I can see the other questions that are there. Design area little houses in the city. Design your own skyscraper. <clears throat> All those kind of things. For each month, I have a topic called, and this is for this was for July, Tall Buildings Number 2, Ask Questions Here. Um, come next, in just a few days, I'm going to post for Tall Buildings Number 3, Ask Questions Here. And that allows you to keep the questions that pertain to just the um pattern that we're working on that month. So you don't have to, someone who's looking for that doesn't have to scroll through um, questions about month three when we're working on month eight. It's just for tall buildings number two, <clears throat> ask your questions here. For tall buildings number three, you'll there'll be a topic and I'll set that up on probably Saturday when the blogs, uh, when that pattern goes up. Your center, post your fabrics, post your photos here. There are um, 211 responses and 12,665 views. There are some great centers in here. And like most internet stuff, you can find yourself going way down the rabbit hole, looking at lots and lots and lots of things. Mine is set so that I'm seeing all the posts first. Uh, so the first one, and this one was written, started April 30th. But let's see what happens when I click on latest activity. Go to latest activity, and now I'm in reverse order. So I go back to this one, which was written July the 11th. Uh, <laughs> and she says, oh, great, now I find it after posting in the wrong place. So um, she had obviously posted this picture of her center somewhere else. And then as in looking around, discovered this section. Remember, this is called your center, post your photos here. And she posted it over here. So that's why we want it here. If she had left it wherever she had it before, most of you would never see this center because you wouldn't know to look in that other place for a picture of the center. Um, there's another great center. They're just really wonderful to, to see them all. And you can slide on down and see people's comments and, and all of that stuff. So it's just great. You can also click by back and forth, 1 to 15, and, and all the different pages. There's 15 pages here. Um, I want to take you to one that has a post for today. So let's go back and see if I can find one that I know just happened today. Using the forum. Tall Let me go back to the forum. Maybe I can find a new one because there's some fun little thing I want to show you. Let's see if there was a new one in Ricky's. I think there was a minute ago. We saw that. Do to do well. Okay, we saw Dottie's already here. Uh, this is one. Uh, Ricky answered a question. So let's go here. Cool kaleidoscope. Ask questions here. Ricky is monitoring this. He is checking for questions and he is answering the questions. Okay. So I have this set so it comes up to posts first. Uh, there is a way, and I'll show you how you can set it that it comes to latest activity first. But if you're on here and remember the breadcrumbs, where are you? Forum. Classrooms and Lives, Ricky Tim's Classroom, Cool Kaleidoscope, Ask Questions Here. And then over here on the far right, you can click Filter. And when you click Filter, they, they come up on mine automatically as Show All and All Time. So they're all here. If you only wanted to see posts that had photos, you could click on this button and the only ones that would show would be ones that had photos attached. If you want to see what's new, and I do this all the time because I'm trying to get to the newest ones. I'm looking at this three, four, five times a day, and I'm looking for the ones I've already, by this evening, I will have already seen everything that's been posted earlier today. So I, if I click on today here, it will take me to the newest posts. Okay, and here at the bottom is the one Ricky wrote this morning, very early this morning, his time, um, or my time, and he answered a question. He did a quote. The person's question was, 
One of my fabrics, actually my dark, is only 39 inches long. I want to use it in all strata. Will that be a problem? Or does it need to be the entire 41, 42? And so he answered, he quoted that, and he said that particular strata will just be shorter and you'll work with it accordingly. Keep going. These little situations will be discussed when it's the appropriate time. So you can see that um, that would be a, an, when you're looking for something that just got posted by clicking again on filter, and I chose today, that would take me to that. And you can do that as well. Okay, let's talk about, go back to, I'm going to go back to all of them. Because now I want to show you. Michelle had asked about, okay, Michelle had asked on this, where are we? We are in cool kaleidoscope asked questions here. She had asked about whether she could tear the strips because she has a hard time cutting her strips accurately. And I recommended that she not do that because some of these strips were going to have one inch wide, the cut size, and tearing those would not be easy to do to keep them straight. So I told her where she could find on my blog, and I think that that post has actually got removed. No, it's here somewhere. Okay. Um, but anyway, I told her how she could find on my blog, and I have a lot of tutorials, and how she could find it and find some. I had two specific tutorials that showed about how to accurately cut strips. And so she did do that, and she found it very helpful. What I did not do is put a link in my response to my blog. We ask that you don't try to put links on any of our comments that take people off the site, and that's to protect our members from getting links to take you places that you don't want to go. There was one just last week that someone had posted about, oh, you definitely should be uh, you need one of these. And it was a link to a sewing machine company to buy a sewing machine. We do not want links. But you can tell people. So my response to her was, my blog is called, and I told her the name of my blog, My Joyful Journey, that I had tutorials and that she could find them there. Google is also your friend. You can find lots and lots and lots of great advice through Google. So um, that's what I was after. But I want to show you what I'm looking for is one of my responses that has my picture on it because I want to show you the pro. Oops, wrong picture. All right, let me go. See if I can find one. I want to show you the one that I'm logged in as. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Let's go to posts because this is the one I started. I want to edit. I, I started it there. I started it there. All right, where is Barbara under the other one? No, I'm not finding myself. Isn't that the way it goes? All right, let's go back here. Oh, I know which one it's in. Uh, how about using the forum? Here we go. Okay, so I started this one on the 20th of about eight days ago to say that I'm working on a live bro broadcast and what would you like me to know? And I wrote this under, this is my Barbara Forum test account. This is a star member account, so it can only do whatever you can do as a star member. This is my profile picture for this account, and my signature says Barbara Black Forum Wrangler. When you do a signature, you don't have to um, put type your name every time, or it's just an easy little thing. So what, I want to show you something really neat here on the profile. So I'm going to double click on my profile. And it's going to bring me over here to my profile sidebar. It shows that I have four subscriptions, which I'll talk more about subscriptions in a few minutes. But um, so I want to edit my settings. Let me talk about subscriptions for a second. I've subscribed to a couple of these accounts with this name, with this account. One of them is my fabric pull, so I would see them. Subscribed means that I'll get notifications by email when someone has posted or responded to my account. So that's that I have it for my admin account. I am subscribed to everything. So I get every a notice whenever someone posts on the forum. Okay, let's go to edit settings. All right, edit settings. User settings, there are three. The first is account. When I click on this, one of the things you can do is enable invisible mode. I don't know why anybody would want to be invisible. We encourage you not to be invisible, but that's an option. Enable private messaging. If you don't want to receive a private message from someone on the site, you can uh, simply 
uncheck that blue check and it goes away. I have allowed this one to receive private messaging from all members, or I could choose to only receive private messaging from those who subscribe. And they can subscribe to individual people. So you would know when I posted something, if you were subscribed to me by moderators or administrators, enable visitor messaging, receive email from administrators from time to time. That can be helpful for one of us to send you an email directly. Now, here's the thing I want you to see. Remember, we are under account settings in your profile. Conversation detail options. You want to have, in order for us to see your avatar and your signatures, you need to have these visible post elements selected. Yes, I want you to be able to show my signature. And yes, I want you to be able to show my avatar. I can edit my post signature right here. I, on this account, my Barbara Black Star, Barbara Forum Test Star Member account, I've used the signature Barbara Black Forum Wrangler. Okay, I can save that. Okay, so saved. I could change it there if I wanted to change it to something else. Now here's the display mode. This account is set so it displays posts first, which means it's going to be the first one and all continuing thereafter. If you want to come to the latest activity first, use this option. Select this button so that when you go into one of the topics, you're going to see them um, the most recent first and on down. So it's the reverse from 1 to 10. It's going to be the 10 back to 1. You can choose how many posts you want to see on a page. Mine is left. I left it at default because I think most of you will. You could choose to only see what 5, 10, 20, 30 on like that. Okay. My time zone is set for central time because that's where I live. Um, daylight savings time con corrections are always off. You could choose to change that if you want them on um, or you want to detect when daylight savings happens. My day of the week starts on Sunday because that's how my calendars run, but that's different in different parts of the world. So you can choose to change that if you like. And my forum style I've left as the default forum. Okay. So this is the user settings account. Let's look at privacy now. Okay. You can um, auto accept if someone wants to subscribe to me and I want to allow them automatically where I don't have to approve it, I could do auto accept subscribers. And then customize who can see. I've got mindset for everyone um, so that I don't miss anything if someone's wanting to send me uh, a question or I want to make sure that I see everything. Okay, but you can auto, you can select different options for that. Instead of everyone, you could have subscribers or members. All right, and then there's notifications. Okay, so here's the the first one at the top that's most important for you to understand: automatic subscriptions. If you have this checked, as I do, subscribe when posting. When you create or participate in a topic, which means you replied or commented or quoted in a topic, you will automatically be subscribed to it. And that means you'll receive an email notification. I have mine set, yes, I want them and I wanna receive them daily. You could choose, no, don't. I don't want email notifications, turn those off. Or just have them on or set for weekly so you only get an email once a week when someone has, um, posted to anything that you have subscribed to. Um, I want to know when someone subscribes to me. I want to confirm a subscribe request if they post on my visitor message board. And then I haven't done polls or anything like that. Likes your posts. I like to know who likes my posts. So I'm subscribed to that. Someone has mentioned me. And this, remember, is my star member forum testing account. It's not my admin account, but I have all these same, same things set in my admin account and then quote you in a post. If they reply to my discussion or they have a comment, you can also choose to receive an email notification when you get a private message from a member of the quilt show. And you could even receive a birthday email if you should like to uh, from the company uh, in your birthday month. So those are edit settings. I'm going to just go backwards here. Back, back, back back so you can see where we got and one more back. Okay. And so all I did to get into my profile sidebar is I clicked on my picture when I, this one here, and it popped me over here to edit settings. Okay. So um, to 
upload your avatar. And I really would encourage you to put a picture there. And if you don't want it to be your face, um, it could be your favorite quilt block. It could be your pet. Uh, something other than the silhouette that doesn't show us much of anything. I'm not sure if we have any silhouettes here handy. All right. But the way you do that is you go into my dashboard over here. I go to my dashboard. And then I come over to profile and then avatar. And there is the avatar. When it first came up, the only thing that was here was the silhouette. When I got this account set up a few days ago, Justin got me all set up. Um, there was just the silhouette. I chose a file and I went into my computer and found that picture that I had saved on my computer once I made it up. I think this, as I said, came from Facebook. Um, and I uploaded the avatar and it popped right in there. Okay. You can also write your signature here. And so this shows the same signature that I showed you back on edit profile. So that's how you get that your profile picture in there. And going back to the forum again, I just want you to see, see if I can find another one. We'll go back to block of the month. I'm most familiar with this since I'm on here all the time. Um, tell building show your progress. Here's 103 responses. We'll look at this one again. Okay. And you'll see why it looks. Okay, there's me. This is so here's a good one, Beth B. She didn't want to put her face picture up, but she had this nifty thing. The thing that's nice is I can associate that picture with her and um know exactly uh who it is. I can just associate that. As a poem, there's Helen W and some pictures, as opposed to some that don't have any at all. Um, the, okay, so I'm going to do two more things. John has just asked me to make sure we cover, which I do want to do now, the, the uploading photos. All right. So where do I want to do that? Using the form. Let's go over here to using the form. Click on that. It'll take me in here to using the form. And I had set this up the other day. All right. Using the form. So at the very top, when I come into using a forum, I can post a reply. I want to put the a picture here. So I'm going to do post reply. And I'm going to test of photo. Alrighty. And now I'm going to click on the photo. Okay. And upload from my computer. All right. So the first place I want to go is to show you these. Okay, I tried to upload this picture yesterday and it was too big. Now I have been told that they've increased the size of pictures, so it may not be too big right now, but I'm gonna check it and see. And I'm gonna tell you what those um, sizes are in just a minute. So I'm gonna click on this one and I hit open. So let's see what happens. Ah, good, it's, it's still too big. It says your file of 3.9 megabytes exceeds the limit. So I say, okay. And then I'm going to go to, let me just cancel that. I'm going to go back in my computer to the pictures. And I want to go, here is that picture right there. So let me click on it, see if I can get into it easily. No, of course not. All right, pictures. And it was recent. Oh, come on, you were there a minute ago. See if I can go back again. This one. I'm gonna open this. Yes. Okay. So here is that picture that was too big. I am working on a PC with Windows 10. I right click with my mouse and I have an option to resize. I hit resize and I'm going to select medium. I tried this morning L for large. It was too big still. But I select M, which is best, says for emails and messages. I select the medium. And there it is. And you need to give it a name. So I'm going to call this test KK2, as opposed to the one I've already done. And I hit save, and it's going to save it. OK. Now I want to upload more, because the first picture didn't match. All right, And I saved that in a in a 
this spot, okay, test KK2. So you have to know where you saved it. That's first important. So let's see what happens when I do this one, the one that I just saved that's smaller. Ha, there it is. And I can write something here if, if I chose to. Notice right now it's upside down. So I'm going to hit continue. Okay. And it's put the picture in and it's upside down. All right. I am going to post the reply. You can always preview too. Uh, preview is good, especially if you wrote a lot of words, because I have a tendency to misspell stuff when I pre if I don't preview it, then I have to check that. So let's see where you went. All right, there it is. Ah, so now this is the one I just posted. It's not upside down, it's right side up. And it's got those words that I said, test a photo, and I can click on it as well and see the gallery picture. Just want to mention quickly with the cool kaleidoscope, I had pulled these a week ago before I listened to Ricky's class on Monday. And I had one, two, three, four stripes and one that reads as a stripe. Ricky recommends against that. I took th four of those out, but I left this one in and I'm hoping it'll work. If it doesn't, that's my mistake because I didn't follow directions. Okay. So, but that's how it works. And on the picture. All right. And so anytime you want to add a picture, that's the way. Now yours, if you have a Mac product different from a PC, it'll probably have different words. But every one of our programs, it's different on an iPad, it's different on an iPhone, probably on an Android phone or device. It just depends on what your words are to use. Mine is resize. I right click on the photo and resize and I found that M worked just fine. I've been told that the pixel size now, maximum width is 5,000 pixels and height is 4,000 height, um, supposedly five megabytes, but that picture I don't think was five megabytes and, and it didn't go in there. So three megabytes is a good bet. And that picture was perfectly large. I had no problem. Let me click again on latest activity so you'll see it. I think it's perfectly easy to, to see it on the size it is. It's not too tiny. And um, Yes, and we had been asked the other day when someone wanted to embed a YouTube video link, and I said, no, please don't embed links. And John's response, again, reminded everybody we're trying to protect people. Um, we don't want spamming and other problems. Okay, so I am. Um, I want to do two more things quickly, and then I'm going to look at your questions because we're running running a little long here. Search the forum. Uh, this seems to work sometimes uh better than others. Let me just put the word photos in here. You have to use, I think, at least five letters. And photos comes up with 32 results in, in one and a half seconds. And But some of these, if you scroll way down, are going to be really much older because every um, item that is was posted here, going way back to years, um, some of these, this was from 2015. And when you click on one, you'll see where it is. So sometimes it's uh, easy to find what you're looking for under search and sometimes it's not. One other great search is this search. It's called Search 360 and this search is the entire site. So I'm just going to type the word applique for a second and show you what happens. The great thing about this is this search is the entire site. There are 138 shows that pertain to applique and they list them all here and you could scroll down and look to see uh, the various shows if you're looking for a show that pertain to applique. Um, we have under learn there's 139 classes or times that a lot of it Alex has been doing some great stuff with applique and so there's a lot of that. If you want to see quilts that have applique, there's 7,000 of them. If you want to shop anything to do with applique, there's 117. And our blog has had 566 times when the word applique was used. So that's the main search for the entire site. Um, okay, let me go back to this where you get to see me again while I look at your picture, your questions. Let me see what you want to know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Peggy says, absolutely great information. I guess I'm going to uh, need to get an account. Yes, you do. Uh, the special that's going on right now is $10 off. Instead of $49.95 for a year, it's $39.95 for a year. And that's 77 cents a day. And there's so much on the site. We have two blocks of the month that are free for you this year. 
One is the Block of the Month, Color My World by Wendy Williams. And we have the 2014 uh, Janet Stone, wonderful quilt called um, A to Z, you, you know, you and me, A to Z or A to Z, you and me. Those are both free and those are both 80 to to $100 individual payments. So um, if you were to buy them. So there's so much that's going on. Okay. Uh, Carol Berrios, so I've noticed sometimes you can only quote but not comment. Uh, is there a rhyme or reason? I think it pertains to whether it's a reply that you're trying to reply to or it's a post that you're trying to reply to. Um, good. Person says, I'm a new star member. Video is very helpful. Excellent. Good. <laughs> Carol Burry says, thanks for the shout out. Carol, you are just a rock star yourself. She is a new quilter and she's making the Color My World small and out of wool. And everybody that's seeing it is just amazed. Um, okay, so uh, do, do, do. Bit late. Screen share is blurry. Okay, she said the screen share was blurry and she couldn't read it. Lots of people from different places. My friends in the UK. Okay, Columbia, let's see. Good afternoon to pen and paper. All right, pen and paper ready. Okay, there's my buddy Margo. Hey, Bar hey, Margo. You can always post on the forum and ask me a question. You can send me a message, but I really like them on the forum. If, if it's a question that pertain that you're concerned about, I guarantee you somebody else has that same question. And by putting it on the forum, we are able to... Uh, provide an answer to everybody that's in there. Uh, John just answered again, giving everybody the code for um, that special discount. It's only good through next Friday. It was extended while Ricky is doing his cool kaleidoscope class. And the code is uh, the number two, the words renew, and then 10. It's $10 off, two renew 10. And um, you'll find that John's put that here on the answers. Um, setting to notify you that someone has commented. Yes, the, the setting is under your settings. That's under notifications and you want to uh, subscribe is the place to do that. Do, 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 replying to the quilt shown with Alex. Okay, gets added on. All right, I think that, did I miss small house? No, Rondi. <laughs> No, Rondi. Hey, Rondi. Um, no, you haven't missed Small Houses in the City yet. That will be in October. That's month 10. But when I did the skyscraper section um, for people to design their own, I went ahead and also did the Little Houses in the City design section. I don't want you to cut them out and start sewing them. That just gives you an idea of what that size is. So no, October is when we get Little Houses in the City. Um Linda Ryder asked, there's a ton of good information. Will there be a place to read the text so we can scan for the part? Um, I don't think so. A uh, way for us all to help you all fix the broken links that come up from a search. Is this a program going to be available because I came in late? Yes, the, all of these lives are saved on um, our website, on thequiltshow.com. You can find them there. They're also, you can go directly to YouTube. The Quilt Show has a channel on YouTube, and all of these lives are in there. That's where Ricky's class from Monday is, as well as on our website. So there's uh, all of this information uh, doesn't go away if you can't make the live, uh, which is really great. Pauline says, Thank you, and thank you to her. Okay, so let me go back over here. Yeah. Okay, that's we've run um, almost 45 minutes, and that's a lot of information to digest. Um, but there's you can't hurt it when you go in and look at your account and look at the different options of places that you can go. Um, just uh, those of you who have struggled with photos, I hope that that helps. Know that we're continually trying to get these fixed and straightened out and we're all aware when things aren't working um, just the way we want them to be but we're trying to get that done um it's the technical side of things is always the most uh, stressful to me I, I feel that way about these lives for the five minutes before the lives i go oh, i hope this all works and when we get started and i'm just out here talking to you um and i know that it works then that's a good thing so um, go ahead and be sure that you are posting on the forum. That's the best way to show everybody what you're doing. We really enjoy seeing that. And it's um, 
the call the block of the month for this year is coming along great and i am chomping at the bit to show you next year's and i can't it's done it's uh, completely done um my wonderful buddies helped me with the sunday so and so's because i couldn't have made the whole quilt myself in 7 weeks without their help um but i did it's quilted it's bound and it's fabulous and um you're, you'll see it probably in october so um anyway so that's it and uh next uh just want to give you the schedule friday is ricky with part two of his uh super duper mystery quilt called cool kaleidoscope next uh saturday it would be d with her saturday sampler monday and friday next week is ricky with lessons three and four he'll wrap up the cool kaleidoscope um, and it gives us time in between to get things made. So that's why the, they're not all boom all at one time. And then next Wednesday, they've got me coming back in. I'm filling in on that Wednesday for block of the month for the uh, tall buildings number three. Uh, we're, we're getting through those. We only have one more set of tall buildings after three, and that'll be tall buildings number four. So uh, anyway, so until next Wednesday.